All right, it's time for a new uh, Iron Maiden guitar tone that I did. And uh, this is supposed to interpret the, the modern Iron Maiden tone. So I used uh, the A Matter of Life and Death album as a reference. And uh, one thing I can take immediately is this parallel path up here is just uh, uh, I've done an acoustic path uh, below here, and uh, then I just changed the routing here, so that way I don't have to turn blocks on and off as much, and I found uh, it reduces some of the clicking noises that can appear uh, when you change uh, snapshots. So yeah, we can start at the beginning here. It's, I used the horizon gate instead of uh, the built-in uh, gate here, and I found that uh, it's pretty good at removing some uh, harsh uh, stuff uh, when playing uh, palm mutes especially. So I like to put it in there, and uh, then the rhythm and lead and uh, solo tone, they um, use this uh, Screamer uh, 808 and uh, this Brit uh, 2204, and I haven't really done any gear check to see what they actually used on the album, I just uh, tried to get something uh, similar, and I'm pretty sure they used some uh, Marshall stack thing, uh, but I, I, I don't really know, and I don't care, so... Uh, just trying to get the tone <laughs> right. And uh, for the cab, I used this uh, 412 uh, 1960 and uh, put a dynamic mic pretty close on this one. And I used a second cab where I have a more distant uh, placing of the mic and a, a slight tilt EQ uh, at the end to add some uh, brightness to the tone. So uh, we can check out the rhythm tone. I think it's the main part of the rig. So. Yeah, so that's the rhythm tone. Uh, and uh, for the lead tone, I just uh, add a slight bit of uh, delay to make it, and I think I tweaked the, uh, yeah, I increased the tone there a bit also to, so it's very similar to the rhythm, it's just uh, letting a little bit more through and uh, saturating the signal a bit more, so... Uh... <laughs> I took a string wrong in the beginning there, but uh, you get the idea anyway. Uh, yeah, so a little bit of uh, delay and uh, nothing special really. And there's a solo tone also where I uh, add even more delay and reverb. And uh, I think I do some tweaks here with the screamer also. Okay, I didn't. But uh, I add a little bit of gain here uh, in front of the, the whole stack also to, to make it scream even more. So, yeah, the solo tone, I haven't really done any reference uh, listening with it. I just found it pretty similar and working good for me, so it sounds like this. It's a pretty typical solo tone. And uh, yeah, so these three snapshots, I would say, are the main component of this uh, uh, preset. And uh, it's pretty basic for Iron Maiden's uh, modern tone overall, I think. Uh, but some things are a bit more album-specific for A Matter of Life and Death. I would say it's the, the breakup clean that I did. And then I use uh, Placator or Placator, eh, whatever, uh, clean. and. Uh, this is supposed to mimic the breakup clean going on uh, in uh, this colors and run. So this one.
so the breakup clean. Nothing special really, and if you play uh, more... Play a little bit more easy, you hear it doesn't break up as much, but if you slam the strings and... You get a little bit more distortion. And uh, it's also the, the acoustic, and uh, then the routing goes 100% uh, uh, below here. And I have an uh, acoustic sim and uh, yeah, some low and high cuts and a compressor. So uh, I think the acoustics are used on uh, Out of the Shadows and uh, The Legacy. So it will sound like this. <laughs> Just an acoustic tone, nothing special really. And uh, now we have some more uh, album specific uh, snapshots, I would say. This one uh, harmony tone I did here, and uh, with this one I add a uh, minus uh, three in the E minor and a, a lower octave also. And this is supposed to be the harmony after the solo in a different world, so it goes uh, like this. <laughs> Um, so that's this one, and uh, then I also did one uh, that I called Distance Solo, and on this one I actually uh, increased the distance of the, the main mic to make the tone sound much more distant. And uh, there's also this uh, filter effect going on, and this is supposed to be uh, sort of like the, the lead in uh, Reincarnation of Benjamin Brig. So it goes like this. And uh, yeah, it's just very distant and a lot of uh, reverb and delay and nice things and this uh, Asheville pattern thing here going on that I'm not really sure what it does, but uh, I think yeah, some kind of really slow uh, wah thing going on or at least something similar and I, and I found this one be kind of close to it at least. And uh, Another place in the album where I think they use a uh, very similar tone is uh, in the verse of uh, For the Greater Good of God, where the lead guitar comes in like this. A distant solo, and then I also did a uh, one I call sub solo. And uh, the thing with this one is it has a little bit of subtle uh, lower octave that is uh, added. So uh, I think it's used in, uh, or I think uh, it's supposed to mimic the lead guitar in uh, uh, this color and run. So it's uh, like this. <laughs> And also in uh, the Pilgrim. That's, uh... Like that. And I also think this harmony thing. Uh, now when I was playing it, I think it's in uh, the Pilgrim also. I think it's. Uh... Something similar is going on there in the chorus, at least. Uh, 
I, I think that's it. Uh, these are the main tones, at least. And I, as I said in the beginning, I'm not really sure uh, exactly what to do, but I, I found uh, these settings to be pretty close, at least to my ear. And I, I'm not claiming I've nailed it or anything, but uh, please try it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video and enjoy the preset. So, see ya.